Hey Randy, I hope you had a nice Labor Day weekend. Did you get a day off? Labor Day had me thinking about unions, and as you mentioned before, Lego City seems to have a lopsided economy favoring construction workers and police officers. In fact, it seems like Lego City must have some really strong unions because most jobs seem to be union jobs. But what are unions anyway? Basically, they're a group of workers, usually in particular industries, that band together for negotiating power and to look after the rights of workers. Today, many labor unions also align with the AFL-CIO, the American Federation of Labor and Congress of Industrial Organizations. Labor Day is a good time for us to look back at the great things unions have done for all workers here in America. If you like having the weekend off, thank the unions. Sick leave, lunch breaks, holiday pay, workers' comp, and basic worker safety rules. The list goes on, even including the Employee Polygraph Protection Act, which prevents an employer from making you take a polygraph test. Unfortunately, unions have been on the decline in America since the 80s, which is a shame because of just how much work has changed in the last few decades thanks to technology. Productivity has never been higher, but wages have been largely stagnant. Workers' rights are even getting rolled back with Lord Business, I mean Donald Trump, cutting some worker safety protections yesterday. But probably not in Lego City. With strong, vibrant unions like the police union, the construction workers union, the supervillain union, and of course, the food-themed costume workers union, Lego City probably enjoys a lot of benefits we don't have. I wonder what those benefits could be. Maybe digital privacy protections to keep your employer from reading your emails? Or a younger retirement age? How about a 30-hour work week? Who knows? And maybe someday we'll get there ourselves. We just need to defeat Lord Business first. See you soon.